Hey Dad, congrats on retiring after 34 years of public education. I know that you've touched so many lives simply because you can't go anywhere in Bloomsburg without somebody knowing who you are and being like, oh, you're Todd Davis's daughter. I had him back in class. So um, obviously you've made a big impact on a lot of people and I wish you the best of luck in this next chapter. I know that you're going to continue to change lives and impact people the same way you did in the classroom. So thank you for teaching us so much at home as well and being a great ringleader of our traveling circus and looking forward to hearing you tell your in-class stories to your future grandchildren someday. I'm sure they're gonna think that life was super crazy back in the day when grandpa used to teach. Dad, congrats on your retirement from your three and a half decades of teaching high school chemistry. I know you have plenty of life lessons and experiences from all that to keep passing on to the rest of us. Looking forward to reading your memoirs and hearing about all of them. See you soon. Dad, I just want to say congratulations on a great career. Um, I really loved having you as a teacher and uh, always liked having you as a coach. It was uh, really fun having a class with all my friends. Thanks for introducing me to chemistry and essentially kickstarting my career. Uh, we are so happy that you are finally retiring. And uh, I know a lot of my friends have really loved having you in class. And I just want to say thanks for always making it a, uh, a fun lesson. And, you know, with the guitar and any sort of other inside jokes we had in class. And um, it was really special having you as a, as a teacher growing up. So congrats. Uh, can't wait to uh, hang out with you as a retired person. Bye. Bye. All right. This is my 32nd lesson with Mr. Davis. Uh, we've done these in the past, and I got another one to go through. So today we're talking about chemical reactions, and we're the reactants uh, mixed together, as the physics type call it. And uh, in this case, the reactants were knowledge and passion and patience. And what that yielded or came up with as the product was a great teacher and mentor, which is exactly what Bloomsburg High School had for 34 years with Mr. Davis. And uh, actually, he kind of forgot out here. So, thanks for being that great teacher and mentor for 34 years, and thanks for being a uh, hallway neighbor for 12 of those years, and kicking off your retirement, I believe the best thing to do is to wish all of your mountains be blue, and a toast to Mr. Davis. Cheers, Mr. Davis. Hi Todd. Hi, Todd. We both want to congratulate you on your well-deserved retirement. Um, you have been such a positive influence on so many lives over the years, including mine, Bob's, our, our children's. Um, Brian and Megan were both so fortunate to have you as a teacher when they went through BHS. And I'm especially grateful to have had the opportunity to work with you over all those years and even more grateful that we can both call you our friend. I want to wish you the best in your next um, adventure where you're going to continue to impact the lives of so many. I know you'll be great at it um, and just wishing you the best. And just a little PS here. I want to thank you for being there for the best girl fight in the history of BHS. Lots of love to you and your family. Mwah. Hi, Todd. Congratulations on your retirement. You are going to love it. You've had a very successful run as an excellent teacher at the high school. Your students loved you. The faculty loved you. I loved you. We had a great time in all the shows. And I think that you're going to find that this new journey you're going to be on is just going to be spectacular. I know I love it. Billy loves it. Everybody I know who retired just loves it. And I am so happy for you. So good luck on your new journey and hope to see you soon. Hey, Mr. Davis, happy retirement. Happy retirement.
You're an awesome chemistry teacher. Enjoy your time off. Hey coach, congratulations on the pending retirement. A couple more days to go. Um, I wanted to drop you a line and, and say thank you and uh, how much I appreciated all your support and my uh, my time at the high school with you and, and over the years. Um, I've been trying to think of a couple of good stories to, to talk about um, from from my time on the basketball team and, and, and in your chemistry class. Uh, unfortunately, my chemistry grades were never the best, so probably not too many good stories there. But, um, you know, we had some good times and some, some funny times on the basketball court and also some bad times. Uh, there was a couple couple practices that I didn't quite make it through and ended up in the locker room a little bit early, um, but uh, you know just some just some great times. We had the uh, the night over in Hughesville, my senior year, when uh, they started chanting my name as soon as we walked in the gym, and by halftime I think we had all had enough. And then uh, one <laughs> one of the our, our cheerleaders had fallen off the top of the pyramid at halftime, and there was a. Uh, a, a, a groan from the crowd and uh, you were in the middle of, of uh, telling us I guess how badly we were really playing and uh, Mike Peters had said hey coach uh, can you give me a second here I, maybe I should go out and check on her um, which <laughs> didn't go over very well um, there was the bench bearing bench clearing brawl at Muncie um, at the end of the game and uh this old little referee had carried Mike and I uh, off the court together because we were so tough. And uh, we had lost the game. And, and afterwards, we were all getting in the showers. And, and you, <laughs> you came in and said, hey, the, the, the Muncie team's going to come in and apologize. Um, as we were all in the, <laughs> in the showers. Um, and I guess finally, you know, uh, thanks for your support at the end of my career and get my thousandth point. Um, you know, we weren't quite in playoff contention and you kind of gave me the green light to go out and do what I had to do um, to get that. So much appreciated and uh, good luck in retirement. Uh, you and Mrs. Davis have raised a fantastic family and you know, you should be proud of that. And I hope you get to spend some time with them and take that dog on some longer walks maybe. So uh, thanks and congratulations and wishing you the best. Congratulations, Todd. It's been great working with you. Things just won't be the same without you. I hope you enjoy retirement. We'll miss you. Hi, Mr. Davis. This is Laura Jackson, formerly Laura Evans, VHS class of 2003, which is somehow almost 20 years ago. I heard a rumor that you are retiring at the end of this school year, which I can't believe, but I'm so excited for you. And I just wanted to take a moment to thank you for everything you did for me not only in all of the chemistry and organic chemistry that you taught me that definitely helped to springboard me into my undergraduate studies and eventually my career, but also all of the mentorship that you provided as I was growing up in such an important point of, of my life. And I just wanted to share a quick story. Um, as you know, I have two young girls now and I was putting my older one who's two years old to bed the other day and she pulled a book off the shelf for me to read to her. You might recognize this, it's Good Night Opus. And I um, hadn't read it in a while, but I opened it up to the first page and I saw a really important message. Um, and it says, for Laura, you've been on the right track your whole life. I'm very proud of you. Now don't forget to depart from the text, which is a reference to the story itself, every now and then. Todd Davis, May 2007, which was after I graduated from college. And I have carried this book with me and will pass it off to my girls because I think that the lesson is very important, that you have to focus on, on what you want to do, but you also need to make sure you have time to depart from the text and follow your heart too. So I hope that uh, retirement brings you rest and joy and you get to do all of the things that you've been putting off because you've been putting your students first and take some time to depart from the text. So congratulations and best wishes. Hey, Coach Davis, it's Lee Zeisloft here. Uh, I wanted to wish you congratulations on your retirement. Um, I also want to take a second to thank you for the impact that you had on me um, as a young man stepping into the high school, uh, not only as a, a coach, which you had a big impact on my life, 
um, but also as a teacher, um, educating me and providing me with a, you know, just a, a positive environment. Um, I can't remember a ton of lessons about, about chemistry that I had as a, as a sophomore in high school, but I remember the experience that we shared. Um, I can remember watching March Madness in your room at the end of the school year, uh, or at the end of the school day in March. Uh, you know, you had it on, I popped in, watched a game. Um, I think I watched Valparaiso uh, pull from a major upset, if memory strikes me correctly. Um, either way, I had a great time with you. And beyond those positive um, environments and interactions we had through coaching and through you as a teacher, um, I always had the utmost respect for you as a as a as a father and a husband. Um, you were always a stand up guy. Um, I thought that you 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 displayed a love for your kids that you know at the time I didn't quite understand, but now being a parent of my own, I do. Um, and I, I you were always there for them. It looked like, and you seemed like you were you were always doing what was best for your family. And then on top of that, like leading and and then you know being a good role model for them. So with that said, um, I wish you all the best, and um, I look forward to seeing you soon. But enjoy your retirement. All the best. Hey, Mr. Davis. Uh, I just wanted to say congratulations. Um, from all the students that you taught, uh, all the students that you coached as well, um, just wanted to send over a thank you very much on behalf of all of us and congratulations on a well-deserved retirement. Hey, Todd. I just wanted to say congratulations on a long and storied career at BHS. Never had the pleasure of having you in chemistry you were just that presence in the back of the room, mixing chemicals, swearing occasionally as Mr. Perry talked about chemistry that I didn't pay attention to. But I have since really come to appreciate the value of understanding how chemistry can make good beer. Just want you to know that this is one of the retirements that is really gonna affect the BHS community you really truly have been the spirit, if not the soul, of Bloomsburg High School for many years. I know that a lot of the students didn't quite see it or appreciate it, but I want you to know a lot of us do. So enjoy and we'll miss you. Mr. Davis, or T. Dave, as the kids like to say, I started with the mask, obviously because it's 2021. Um, just want to say happy retirement. Um, thanks for uh, sending those three wonderful children of yours my way so I could teach them. Just want to give you a little bit of the fishing Pittsburgh room in here so you remember this room. Um, if you want to fish, you want to start, you let me know. Congratulations. Hey, Todd. Congrats on your retirement. We're happy for you, man. And, um, you know, we're fortunate to have been able to work with you and, of course, become such good friends. We're really going to miss having you around the building, especially, uh, you know, me and Jim down on the first floor there. So cheers, brother. Enjoy it. It's going to be awesome. And uh, we look forward to partaking in continued celebrations with you in this new chapter. All right, man. Best wishes. Hey, Mr. Davis, uh, Kyle Mock here. Just left the hospital and, and told Evan I would be more than happy to uh, participate in your retirement celebration here. Really great job. Uh, congratulations on a, a career that was well spent. I know you've impacted a lot of kids throughout the years. Personally, um, you took a kid that wasn't really interested in anything but playing sports and, and helped me find a love of science and a love of all things chemical and um, helped me turn into uh, an assistant professor. Uh, at the University of Florida College of Medicine here in Jacksonville. So I'll be forever grateful for that. Um, I also still have the old school cons, man. They live in my office. I look at them every day uh, and I continue to live by what you always used to tell me, old school still is the only school. Uh, so really, again, congratulations. Uh, can't wait to see what's next for you. I know Mrs. Davis will be happy to have you around the house a little bit more. Um, but again, congrats, man. Uh, looking forward to catching up to you soon uh, and enjoy this. It's certainly well deserved. Take care. Hey, Mr. Davis. Just wanted to say congrats on a great career. Um, congrats on retiring. I had a great time in your class. I just wanted to say for myself, I know if there was a hall of Edwin Cardoni winners, I'd have my own special exhibit because, you know, I'm obviously like top three. Me and Alex decided to make this video together. I asked him to reminisce on what he, uh, what, what was his favorite memories from his class, and this is what happened. So uh, with that said, uh, good luck uh, with your next steps, and I'm glad that you're retiring on, uh, moving on. 
Hi, Mr. Davis. Congratulations on your retirement. I wanted to thank you in particular for always reminding me that while learning and doing well in school are important, there are much more important things like having fun and enjoying yourself. And I hope you get to do that a lot in your retirement. So thank you again and congratulations. Coach Davis, I heard uh, that you were retiring this year and, and certainly wanted to take an opportunity to chime in and uh, first of all, just say thank you. Um, you know, little did I know when I was a freshman and, and you gave me an opportunity to uh, step in and run around with the big guys, um, really had no idea how much uh, that helped me and how much of an impact that would have on, on the rest of my life. So for that, thank you. Uh, very much. And secondly, congratulations. Uh, congratulations on your retirement. I hope you uh, are able to take some time, certainly enjoy with your family, and uh, I imagine you'll probably have the guitar out playing Jimmy Buffett songs all day, every day, which is great. But uh, again, just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything that you did for me and paving the way for, for the way that I approach life now. And again, congratulations, and uh, I hope retirement is good to you. Happy retirement. I'm so excited for you um, and Laura to enjoy this time. Um, thank you for caring more than most teachers do and for putting up with all of us bratty um, teenagers in high school who thought there were way more important things than organic chem. Um, Spoiler alert, I got my master's in medical sciences, which ended up being a lot of organic chemistry, so thank you. Um, you and your family have been such a blessing in my whole life, so I'm just so happy for you guys, and I hope you enjoy this next chapter in your life. And we got to get the baby in there, too. Happy retirement. Hey, Mr. Davis. Congratulations on retiring. Uh, and thanks for being a great teacher. Um... Yeah, organic chemistry was totally one of my favorite classes in high school. Uh, and I'm sure you inspired a lot of other folks. Uh, and the school system's going to miss you, but retirement sounds awesome. Have a great time. This is my cat, Sokka. He says congratulations, too. Bye. Hey, Mr. Davis. Or should, I, I guess since it's Uncle Evan and Uncle Marty, you would be great Uncle Todd. Emphasis on great. We just wanted to say congratulations on such a long, illustrious career. Um, congrats on retirement and enjoy all the travel time heading east, west, all those MLB stadiums that I'm sure you're going to hit every single one of them and then start on the minor league systems. So from the Virginia Kapitskys featuring little William Anthony, congrats. Hey, Todd. Take those great memories you have of teaching with you as you retire and now get on with the things you didn't have time for before. Enjoy every minute. Hello, Todd. Um, I'm contemplating this week and your retirement and I am have mixed emotions, of course, as most people do. I'm really excited for you and I'm so happy for you and your retirement and I hope you really enjoy each and every day that you have. I'm also going to miss you and going to miss the ability to be able to see you each day and get a hug and some advice when needed. Um, but congratulations on your retirement. I'm so tired of reshooting this, but I keep talking too much. Um, so short and sweet, but I am extremely grateful for the opportunity to send you this video. I'm very glad that Aunt Deb reached out to me and told me about it. I think that it is amazing that your time has come to be able to retire and no one's more deserving than you to be able to be set free um, from the jaws of the high school. But I wanted to thank you for your teaching, for being more than just a teacher, being a mentor and a friend and really uh, being able to teach us about life more than I would have learned anywhere else. Um, I think of you very often. I think of you when I pump gas and see ethanol in the gas pumps. I think of you when um, I hear whiskey on the rocks, when we discuss ice versus granite. I think of you so much. Um, I have really thought about you lately, just relating things to life. I started my uh, summer pharmacology course today 
and it's just been on my mind constantly for how much um, I can see something randomly and think of your class and think of you. So I wanted to take this chance to give you the best wishes possible for your retirement. I hope you get to collect as many more records as you want and spend so much time with the Davis Traveling Circus. And I really just hope you can make the best of um, your time after teaching because you certainly deserve it. I know you touched on a lot of people's lives and it's time for you to touch on your own and go do your thing. So best of luck to you, Mr. Davis. Um, I'm extremely grateful to have had you as a teacher in school, so I hope retirement treats you well. Congratulations. Hey, Todd. Congratulations on finally retiring. I'm so thankful that I could have had you as a teacher, especially my chemistry teacher, and teaching me so many valuable things that I will be able to take on to my chemistry classes in my future years in college. And thank you for actually having hope in me that I can do well in your class because so many people said how hard it was. Um, thank you for being another family figure to me. I really appreciated all your support and help getting into college and just throughout high school and through this past year. Thank you so much. Love you. Hi, Mr. Davis. I know I haven't seen you in a while, but... Um, you really helped in high school. You were super supportive of everything I did, especially with golf. And unfortunately, I know you were t talking about one of the other players that was there before me, so hopefully someone can carry it on like you had said. But I hope everything goes well. Happy retirement. Enjoy it. <laughs> See ya. Hey, I just want to thank Evan for telling me how to do this. I'm here in my easy chair. This is where I usually sit. Now that I'm retired, uh, enjoying a uh, an adult beverage. So, uh, you know, looking forward to, uh, I know you're looking forward to retirement and uh, buy yourself an easy chair and uh, an adult, some adult beverages, and you're in like Flynn. Todd Davis, you're retiring. Can't believe it. Imagine the school might actually shut down or celebrate. Um, I just want to give you uh, my heartfelt congratulations for an amazing career. Uh, everything uh, that you did for me of being a mentor, uh, a friend, a colleague, um, some of the things that we've shared together from you uh, ripping farts in front of your class to uh, asking them to measure their penis, peanuts, uh, to uh, talking about Doc Goodson's no-no, which was a fun story. I, uh, I hope that you uh, enjoy all of the, the riches of retirement. Uh, I hope you and Laura enjoy uh, some time together. I'm sure that's much needed. So I offer you a cheers, congratulations, and uh, enjoy that. Enjoy seeing some baseball games, because I imagine that's what you're going to be doing a lot of. All right? Cheers, buddy. I think we call that about 1.83 times 10 to the 23rd power. Hey, you've been great to work with, man. I'm going to miss you a lot. Enjoy your retirement. Take care. hard to believe it's been 29 years since I first met you. Uh, I remember you were pushing Marty in his stroller and uh, we met up at the Boonsburg Middle School. And from that day forward, uh, you've always been there for me. You and Laura made me feel like part of your family from day one. We've shared a lot of, of good times together. We've uh, shared some tough times together as well, but you were always there for me. You were there when I was married. You were there when both my kids were born. You were there when my mom passed away just a couple months ago. And to me, that's the definition of a friend, somebody who's always there for you. It's not going to be the same in the, in the Bloomsburg Science Department, that's for sure. You will be missed. Um, but I hope you stop by Roarsburg on your way back home from Jamison City. I'm sure you're going to have a huge impact, a positive impact 
on those folks you'll be working with in your future. I want you to know it's always been a pleasure and an honor to be your wingman. Best of luck.